Hey everybody on YouTube, uh, right now as you can see we're looking at my whole entire Hockey Max collection right here that I've built, I've made from kits. And um, I felt like for, uh, it's been a good while since the videos have came out and I was wanting to give an update and sort of just go over and talk about these hockey masks now that I have them done and they're all uploaded and you know people are well aware that I am doing this as a side project. Um, a few things I want to go over and explain real quick is um, I am going to be making more hockey masks this summer. It's just uh, for the time being I have to basically uh, save up some money. I'm just kind of right in the middle of uh, just saving money up to get these masks and I'm also getting ready to start a new job here soon but so I'm just sort of taking a break from purchasing any of these hockey masks before I do any more with them or posting more videos but I mean there'll be more unboxing uh, videos to come of the hockey masks and the kits so um, yeah these were my first for uh, I purchased because there's two reasons behind it and the reason is um, I have a hood for this mask and I have the hood for this mask and I have a hood for this mask so that's part of the reason why I bought the hockey mat these hockey masks specifically I am about ready to order a hood for this mask it's just coming in in the mail and it's take it's been about two weeks ago maybe and it takes about anywhere from four to eight weeks so I'm still waiting on that mask to come in so that's why I got this one because I do have a hood coming to me in the mail I'm just still waiting for it but there'll be an unboxing video of that when it comes to me okay um, but let's just sort of talk about the hockey masks right now and just sort of go over and I just want to talk about what I did when I was doing these details. So um, I'm going to do a real quick transition and we're going to talk about these hockey masks. In Alrighty the everybody. So here it is. Here is the part three hockey mask and I'll do a zoom in. So, <coughs> so um, part three hockey mask was one of my particular ones I was wanting to get because this is the first hockey mask. This is the first one that Jason ever puts on. And I did the scuffing and the detail. So I'm gonna zoom up a little bit, position this just, just right. Okay, so um, the details on the hockey mask, you'll see there are scuffs here, war marks up here. There's a the, little bit of a trademark uh, scuff on the nose. Um, the chevrons here, you'll notice one is, you know, pointed up more than the other. Let me turn that real quick, boom. And you'll notice that, but that is a trademark um, look on the hockey mask in the movie. I actually did rewatch part three and noticed that one of the chevrons is pointing up more instead of like this. You know, like it's like this. This is how it should normally be, but it's pointed up a little bit like that. So I did that to give it its look. Um, really honestly, like in the video, which I'll have the uh, videos to all these masks at the end. You can watch them individually, but um. Most of these I just went over, I drilled out the hole, sanded it in and out, made sure, you know, all the little puncture marks where the holes should be were flattened out so the mask set nice. Because you, there are a couple of the masks where I messed the hole alignment just a little bit and so the outer edge of the groove is still there because if I tried to make it any bigger, the hole would look lopsided and look ridiculous and I didn't want that for my mask. Um, the snaps are easy. Um, when you buy the kits, you do get the snaps, you get everything. You just need the snap tool, which is the little hammer and the little, little chisel piece or whatever, nail piece, whatever, you can hit it down, boom, and it snaps them on. But um, this hockey mask wasn't too difficult to make. I would say the details were kind of difficult to get which one I wanted. Um, recommendations if you're going to do part three um, just look up part three hockey mask see which one you like because there's variations there's the clean mask the scuffed up mask and the axe and the wound head mask which I know a lot of people are like well that's part four but at part three this same style like how this hockey mask because my hockey mask is 
based off of the end of the movie, like towards the end before he gets the axe. Because if you look at it, that same hockey mask with the detail and stuff has the axe mark in its head. So it's not like it's too difficult to replicate, but I mean, that's the one I picked and went through. I mean, if anything, if you want the clean look, my suggestion is, is just to paint it with your almond and whatnot with a little bit of white and don't even do the details like I did. I just put details on mine because I thought, you know, that'd be cool. All right, let's get to the next one. Alrighty, so here is the uh, part four hockey mask right here and I'm gonna leave it right there, but um, the part four hockey mask is um, a little bit more detailed, way more detailed than most of the masks out of the four I've got so far that I'd say I've had to put the most detail in due to the fact that this thing has scuffs, it has half a chevron missing, a um, piece of a chevron missing, the little scuffs right here if you just look. I mean all the detail, you can tell this this part four mask was the most detailed one I had to put the most work into and you can see why. It's just got a lot going on for it. It's got the bloody axe wound, it's got you know it's scratches, and, you know. I, I put a lot of detail into this one. Um, I kind of had to use part four was kind of hard to reference because the mess changes quite frequently like it it's hard to explain if you watch that movie and you just pay attention to Jason's hockey mask every time you see like details like this like the scuff wasn't there but in the next frame it's there I based mine more off of the uh, shower scene hockey mask more than anything because at the end of the movie the only thing that's left really is this chevron and these two chevrons on the side are like completely worn out and gone so i just sort of went with the shower room scene where he grabs the guy and like you know pushes his nose into his face kind of deal but um that's the one i based off of it um detail wise i got it there same thing with this one I just ordered a part three strap set because it's what part four is. It's the same thing as part three, but I ordered it and uh, it came in, same deal. It has um, the snap system. So that's part, part four. Six. Part six uh, wasn't really that hard of detail. Um, I did have to stain it with some yellows and tans. That's why if you'll notice, let me bring one of my let me bring my part three. Part three has sort of like an eggshell color while the part six one has more of an off yellowish tan. I noticed that in the game and in the movie that compared to this one, this one's more white and light while this one's more, it's more, I don't know how to say it. It's kind of like, um, I almost want to say a coffee with a little bit too much creamer where it's got that tan brown look, but it's not like but it still has a white tone to it. It's just, in certain light, lighting, you'll see a yellow tone to it. But that's kind of like what the hockey mask is. It's almost tan. Like, my first idea of painting this mask, I was wanting to do a tan painting on it, like just straight up the almond, just do straight up almond. But the problem was, is uh, for some reason, the almond was just looking too skin tone. It looked like, like a hockey mask made out of a hunk of flesh skin. But um, yeah, it's that's there, and I'm just saying it. I had to. I ended up doing an almond, did a light white on it, and then did some yellow staining to give it that look. And I sort of scuffed it up. I didn't do a whole lot of details because the hockey mask, the part six hockey mask, you see it mostly in the dark than you do in the day. A couple of good scenes you'll see it in the light, but most of the time you see it in the dark. If people know what I'm saying, if they followed the movies you understand that it was kind of hard to find any good pictures of this thing out in the light and like natural lighting so i kind of just went with the scene where jason was killing the paintballers and that's the design i kind of went with it was this kind of like tan tan off a white with an off tan to it i'll say and it just doesn't really have a whole lot of details i didn't have to put a lot of scuffs on it i put some for look so it didn't look plain and boring but most of this hockey mask is just uh basic details alrighty and here's my f next one part nine 
Yeah, Jason goes to hell, part nine. Um, this hockey mask is pretty ditzy. It's pretty small, but I love the details. Um, if you're wondering, I did put some black mesh around the eye piece right here. And there is a hood that goes to this mask, like I said before at the beginning of the video. Um, there is a hood that goes to this mask, so it's all good. Um, not bad. I mean, honestly, um, Jason Goes to Hell was kind of one of those hockey masks. I wasn't really 100% sure how to paint because in the lighting, to me, it looks metallic silver. I don't know if everybody else agrees with that, but like most of the time when you see this mask in the light, it looks metal. And I wasn't really 100% sure how to get that color. So what I really did was kind of give it the um, part three makeup painting treatment. That's basically what I did was give it the part three. I just did uh, so, uh, a base of black, a base of white, and some light almond. And then I did all the scuff work on it. You can see, this hockey mask was uh, pretty tricky because, like, a lot of these edges and these details right here were kind of hard to uh, get sanded down just right. But I mean, I got most of it to the point where I like it. I would have done more with this, but that's literally how the mark came out in the hockey mask. I would have added a little bit more shredded edges. But I cut it out how the mask came, so I'm happy with that. So, um, yeah, this one wasn't really hard. The rivet part was kind of a pain because you got to do two rivets on each strap, as you can see. Just boom, boom, two, boom, boom, two, boom, boom, and two. Um, yeah, but it wasn't really something I was too crazily scared over. I did mess up on one of the rivets and the washers didn't get on there, but I'm not really too worried. I feel like this thing is tight enough on there that's not going to do a whole lot. And I don't really plan on wearing this hockey mask a whole lot myself because it goes with a hood. So it's like I'm not going to wear this 24-7 to a Halloween party or something like that. I love it. The details are great. Tell me what you think. Hey everybody, so here are all my hockey masks all together, um, all one alignment. Um, tell me what you think of them. Tell me what your thoughts are. And um, comment down below which hockey mask kit I should order next because I still got plenty to go. Um, I've got part five, which is the Roy mask. Part seven and part eight. So I got three more hockey masks to go. And I mean, there's some others that I'm gonna order, but I'm just kind of counting the one in the movie order that I care for. And that's all the way up to part nine. I don't really care for X or Frey versus Jason. I kind of just want to keep the ones where the Jason movies were still good, or at least all right. But um, anyways, tell me what you think about these hockey masks and tell me which one you would like to see me build and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Please like, comment, subscribe and thank you for watching.